me see them. This mob of eager shoppers is not out to find a bargain at a giant superstore. They're a friendly mob spontaneously descending on a local small business with the objective of spending $20. Today I bought a pair of flip-flops and a bottle of wine. This is a cash mob. It doesn't require you to come out and spend a fortune. Just co You come out, you see what this is like, and you can't help but buy and enjoy. Hey, come on in. Igniting the cash mob movement in Cleveland, Ohio, is a young lawyer named Andrew Samtoy, who has a passion for meeting new people and supporting local small businesses. The slogan on our blog is, we each do a little, we all do a lot. So if each person gives us uh, $20 to the store, 20 people will give them $400 uh, and, and also get something back in return. It's not charity. There are three main rules to participating in a cash mob. The first rule is that you spend $20. The second rule is that you meet three new people that you didn't know before. And the third is that you have fun. It all started just a few short months ago in the fall of 2011 when Andrew posted an invitation on his Facebook page to show up in a local Cleveland neighborhood with $20 to spend at a small business. It's one of the ironies about cash mobs, though, that we use social media to get the word out, but we're almost anti-social media. We're using social media to organize people socially and get them to actually meet each other face to face. The small grassroots campaign quickly took root. Andrew set up a website instructing people on how to start a cash mob, and similar scenes started playing out all over the country, with local organizers selecting the stores and getting the word out to the community. Carolyn Holtz, the owner of The Variety Mart in Bellport, New York, describes the experience. It was just absolutely amazing. They were hoping for 40 people. We had over 100 people come. There was a line outside the store. There was a line inside the store, people waiting to pay. Three of us behind the counter, you know, quickly ringing people up and bagging things. On this particular Saturday, Andrew orchestrated the very first International Cash Mob Day, with over 200 cash mobs happening around the United States and the world. In Cleveland, the mob was happening at a small natural foods grocery store called Nature's Bin. It's a fun, um, exciting environment, and it's a fun way to shop and, and also support a local, local store. And how much did you spend today? Exactly 142 and change. I just looked at the numbers from today, from 2 o'clock when cash mobs started to 3.30, which is an hour and a half, we had over 300 people come through the store and they spent way more than $20. Our total for that, that span of time, an hour and a half, was $9,000. At the same time, in Bellport, New York, the cash mob was happening at two local downtown stores, Somersault and Bellport Liquors. I bought local wine in the local liquor store, so that also supports the community. The method for selecting a small business to be cash mobbed is simple. First off, they need to be locally owned and independently operated. And secondly, they need to give back to their community. And I think the second part is something you can't fake. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to start sponsoring a team, bring a cash mob to my business so I can, I can do this. Uh, we generally look for people that have a long-standing commitment to their communities. Afterwards, Andrew encourages the cash mob participants to hang out at a local watering hole. They do their shopping uh, and then they congregate again just so that they can relax and they can have drinks. There's an old saying that you're not friends with people you're like, you're friends with people that you do things with. With the uncertain economy and a lot of small businesses suffering, a cash mob can give the selected small business a shot in the arm and some much needed exposure and support especially when business is slow. If a local business is relying on a cash mob to save it, there's probably bigger problems with that business than a cash mob can fix. It's just a little bit of a boost or economic stimulus. So when we go into one of these stores, generally speaking, there's a lot of people in the mob that have never been to that store. And so when they go in, they're bringing some money so uh, and they're bringing exposure to the store. And beyond the boost it gives the small business, it's also bringing people and communities together to make a difference. $20 at a time. I think the importance of the cash mob concept is really to build community and show people that they have the power to make a difference in their own community. Is it the answer to our economic woes? Absolutely not. But I really think that it's leading to something that can show people that they can make a difference.